Facebook. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening, people of God. I apologize that I did not get on like I thought I was going to get on by 930. My phone went dead, so I had to charge it for a few minutes so I could make sure that I could do this, this live video tonight. I wanted to come on um, before the evening ended so that I could release this prophetic dream that I had last night and um, the interpretation and encourage the body, encourage uh, the kingdom in this area. Our uh, church is coming up on revival next week as um, moved by the Spirit of the Lord, and we are going to be in revival Sunday through Wednesday. And so this week we're actually doing prayer at 6 a.m. And God gave me a dream uh, this morning. I woke up about 4 a little, little, little after four in the morning, went back to sleep. And right before I woke up for the 6 a.m. prayer, I had this dream. And so I believe that this word is for the kingdom. And um, it's just uh, to push you, to push you into your destiny. So let me start with the dream. Thank you for tuning in. So let me start with the dream. Um in the dream, when I woke up, let me start here. <laughs> when I woke up, I had a, a feeling of, um, I, I was like immobile, immobile. I couldn't move. I was kind of frozen. And that is because of the dream that I had. And you'll, you'll understand in just a minute um, what that means. The dream started out. Um, I believe it was me in the dream. I'll, I'll, I'll use me as the person because I believe it was me who was in the dream and doing the things in the dream. I came up on a big cooler. It appeared to be abandoned and I was curious to see what was in it in the dream. I came up on the cooler and when I opened the top of the cooler, as soon as I opened up the cooler, piranha fish just jumped out at me and started chomping and, you know, trying to get me. So I closed the top of the cooler, um, but then took the cooler with me. So I, I carried the cooler to my family. And, I, and for some reason, I was in Panama City, back home in my hometown. I took the cooler to my auntie's house and all my cousins were there and my family, my brothers were there. So I'm carrying this cooler of piranha fish. Um, and one of my, um, cousins or somebody, one of the guy cousins, I believe had picked up the cooler and said, well, I'm going to take the cooler. At least I'm going to take the cooler over to the shed, or it was like some area outside the house. As he was transporting the cooler, he accidentally flipped it and the fish started, the piranha fish started flowing out of the cooler. There was a lot of them started flowing out of the cooler and they started swimming around and trying to bite everybody and trying to chomp everybody, trying to, trying to eat everybody up. And people were running. All my family was running and, and trying to get out of the way of the piranha. And so the piranha, they were everywhere. It's like there was no corner that was left untouched by the piranha fish. You couldn't step, you couldn't move, you couldn't do anything because the piranha fish were there. So that was the dream. As I woke up, I began to pray with um, our ministry this morning. And after the prayer ended, I began to seek God and ask him, what does this pir piranha fish, what does this mean, Lord? And a lot of times the Lord gives me these prophetic dreams and um, he gives me the interpretation. So I, I want to share this with you tonight. And I really be believe God um, has this word for you. I thank God for this interpretation. So the piranha fish is equated to fear. Fear that immobilizes you. Fear that um, makes you stop. Fear that keeps you from your destiny. And that's what I meant about when I woke up, I knew that the feeling that I was having was I couldn't move. I was frozen. Um, that is an effect of fear. And God allowed me to experience that in the natural in order to help me be able to interpret what he was saying in the dream about fear. So the word of the Lord tonight for you is 
We can't move forward in purpose if we take fear with us. And that's what was going on in the dream. I was carrying fear around. I found this abandoned cooler, which again, I believe that the piranha fish were fear, equated to fear, a metaphor for fear. Somebody had left that cooler. Somebody had abandoned it. They had moved on into their destiny. They had, had left that fear behind and I picked it up. So the word of the Lord for you tonight is do not pick up fear. It's going to be available. It's going to be available in abundance, but it is not your, um, your mantle. It's not for you to carry. It's not for you to carry. Um, fear will eat you up till there's nothing left. And the Bible says fear will torment you. So I looked up this piranha fish. I don't know anything about piranhas except that I know they have these sharp teeth. And so as I was studying about the piranha fish, it, the, the, the word that I was getting was that it was, um, they're ferocious predators. They have razor sharp teeth. They can decapitate a human or even a cow in a matter of seconds. So can you imagine if God is saying piranha fish in this, in this dream example, in this prophetic dream equates to fear, then fear decapitates you. It cuts you off from your purpose. It cuts you off from your destiny. It, it, it makes it so that you can't move forward. Thank you, Lord. They also said in what I studied, it said that piranha fish um, are more prone to attack in a dry season or when the water levels are really low, right? So think about it. Piranha, again, is, is fear. When we're full of the spirit, when our faith levels are soaring, when we're operating fully in God's love, where is the fear? <laughs> it's nowhere to be found because we can't operate in love and fear at the same time. The word of God tells us that perfect love casts out fear. So... We have to be on guard. We have to be alert. You feel yourself, you feel your spirit getting a little dry. You know you hadn't been in your word like you need to. Um, you know you hadn't been spending time with God like you need to. Um, you're feeling your, your faith level is, is, is not charged up where it needs to be. Then you need to be on alert. You need to be on guard because fear is, is sure to follow. So how do we combat this fear? And even now, I thank you, Lord, because I don't do this live stuff. But God is, God is not giving me the spirit of fear, hallelujah, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Thank you, Lord. Um, so we, we combat this fear. We combat this piranha by operating in love. Um, there are many scriptures in the Bible that talks about God's love towards us and how he expects and commands us to share that same love with others. Um, we have to step into our destiny with love, operating in love. That's how we combat fear. First John 4, 18 says that perfect love casts out fear. Romans 8, 15 says, we have not received a, a spirit of fear. We know that fear is not of God. So when fear comes to, to try and operate in our lives, we have to understand and be cognizant that this is the enemy trying to work through us, trying to, 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 to build a weapon against us, Right? Because we know God is not a God of fear. He doesn't give us a spirit of fear. We don't, we don't operate in fear when we're operating in God's love. Isaiah 41 and 10 and Joshua 8, 1 command us to fear not. 
we can't accomplish the full will of God and, and the full work of God that he has for our lives if we're operating in fear. Oh, there's so much. There's so much that you have with inside of you that God has deposited in you that the world needs, that the kingdom needs and the world at large needs. Your voice your gift, whatever your talent is, whatever that skill is, whatever that ability is, is needed. We had a, um, we had a, a, a session, I think it was a couple of Saturdays ago, um, during our prayer, our corporate prayer at our ministry. And afterward, the Holy Spirit gave me a word to share with the body um, before they left or as some were leaving. And the Holy Spirit said, don't discount your gift. I don't care how small it may seem, how, how, how insignificant you may think it is, but God can use you. He can, he gave it to you for you to share it with the world. Thank you, Lord. One way we show love is by using our gifts. John 15 and 17 tells us that we should love one another. And we know that love is one of the fruits of the spirit. So the other thought that came as I was, as I was meditating on this, on this dream that God gave was so many of us enjoy and 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 basically reap the benefits or, or the enjoyment of others who share their gifts with us who who share their talents with us who uh share their their skills and and their abilities with us so we get that enjoyment because they're stepping out they're moving past the fear they're doing the, the, the thing or the things that God has given them and deposited in them and sharing it back so that we can enjoy. So why aren't we doing the same? Why aren't we doing the same? Perfect love casts out fear. So we're going to combat fear. We're going to move forward into our destiny. I'm going to move forward into my destiny. I speak forth that over my life. You need to speak that forth over your life tonight. I will move forward into my destiny. I will not fear. I will stand on God's word. He promises that he's with us. So I'm going to move forward into my destiny. God, whatever gifts you've given me, I will, I will detect what those are. I will identify those with your help, Lord God. And I will move forward, Lord, and share these gifts that you've given, these skills and abilities and talents. And I will share those with your kingdom, Lord God, to edify your kingdom, to, to help your kingdom and share with the world, to, to draw others to your light. So let my light shine. You can't let your light shine if you're fearful. Oh, hallelujah. How, how is your light going to shine if you're not, if you're, if you're walking in fear, think about it. So we want our light to shine, not only for the kingdom, not only, um, for, for the saints to benefit from the gift that God has inside of us, but that the world would see the gift of God in us and draw and, and, and that, and that would draw them to to the Christ in us, right? To the light when they see the light. So allow your light to shine. You can't do it in fear. You can't do it with that, with those piranha. We got to squash that, that fear. And when fear comes, because it's going to try. And that's the thing. It's, it's not just going to sit back and, 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 and wait for you to call it forth. The fear is just going to come. It's, it's a natural state of the soul. So it's going to come. But when it comes, we have to know what to do. Fear not. We have to cast down, right? We, we know it's not of God. And we don't want to operate in anything that's not of God, right? Amen. 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 So fear, we know, immobilizes us. 
But love is more powerful than fear is what the Holy Spirit is saying. Mm. Thank you, Lord God. I'm just trying to make sure I, I, I covered everything the Lord gave me to share. Um, yeah, that fear eats up our destiny like the, like those uh, piranha fish trying to eat up everything, trying to scare everything. And when we take fear with us, when we carry fear with us, <laughs> it it can rub off on other people. And that's what was happening with the piranha fish in the dream as, as the fish were being carried to other places where family members were, the family members started getting fearful <laughs> because of the, 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 the piranha fish were there. So we don't want to operate in fear. We don't want um, to infect our brothers and sisters because we're fearful. We want them to to see that, that we're walking in love and we want our love to be contagious. Hallelujah. We don't want our fear to be contagious. We want our love for God, our love for others, our love for ourselves. We want that to be contagious and rub off on others. So tonight I pray that um, as we are even ending this year and going into a new year, don't, don't even wait. Don't even wait, hallelujah. Don't even wait to make that new year declaration. Now's the time. It's December. Now's the time. Now is the time. And so I encourage you, uh, kingdom people, to step out on faith, to believe God, to, if you don't know uh, it, what your gift area is, to do some research. You know, our our ministry had um, sessions where we did what's called a shape ministry um, tool, and it, it helps you identify what your gifts are. So a lot of us know what our gifting areas are. It's those things that we're passionate about. It's, it's those things that we always find ourselves doing, even from a young child um, that always seems to be part of our life that we're really good at, we're passionate about. It could be speaking to people. It could be um, finances. It could be, there's so many different things that God has gifted um, the people of God with in order to not only bless your life, but bless others. So um, I want to pray right now um, for those who may be feeling fear, may be um, dealing with fear in their lives, that uh, that you will be able to walk in your purpose. So, Father God, I come to you right now, Lord God, thanking you, Lord God, for your word, thanking you for your commands in your word, Lord God, thanking you, Lord God, for that we have the mind of Christ, Lord God, that we do not live with the spirit of fear, Lord God, but we have love and a sound mind and power, Lord God. I thank you right now, Lord God, that even those times when fear tries to come up on us, Lord God, that we will remember your word and remember who we are in you. And Lord God, that you've given us and deposited in us those things that you wish for the world to have. Lord, let us remember that we are not our own that we were bought with a price, Lord God. Let us show love toward one another, Lord God, blessing others with the gifts that you've given us, the, the talents, the treasures, the time, the, the abilities that you've given us, Lord God. And fear, I cast you down right now in the name of Jesus. You are not of God and we will not operate in you. We will operate in love in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you for it right now. We give you praise, Lord God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. So people of God, go forth, go forth, go forth, go forth in love, in love. That is the way we got to operate in love. That's what casts out fear. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Risha. Amen. Amen. Hey, Pat. Combat fear with faith. Amen. Amen. Good word. Good word. God, we give you praise tonight. I thank you for tuning in. 
And I pray that you will start your journey without faith, with without fear, but with faith and love. And um, start it before the, the new year begins. All right. Have a good night, Facebook. Love you.